We've rebuilt branching and it's now available in Flutterflow. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about what went wrong with our first version of branching, how we fixed it with version two and how to use it. Our first version of branching was almost perfect, but you know what they say, almost doesn't count with branching. Now this happened because we built our own custom tool that failed under certain conditions. And version control or tracking changes to projects from many editors over time can get pretty complex if you implement it yourself. It's like trying to build Google Docs from scratch instead of just using it to track changes automatically. You might run into problems like race conditions where simultaneous changes cause conflicts that are nearly impossible to resolve cleanly. So after tons of iterations, we decided to use that industry standard workhorse Git to ensure stability and reliability. Now our merging uses Git under the hood. But that under the hood is the important part because the merge UI experience is slightly different from the standard merges, even though it's just Git under the hood. Now, before we talk about merging, we have to tell you a little bit of a secret about how Flutterflow stores your projects. We don't store your projects as static files in a repo, but we use a highly efficient data representation model to store your projects. This allows many things like the ability to spin up projects really fast in Flutterflow when you click on your project. But this also means that when we merge branches, we use a YAML representation of Flutterflow projects because it's similar to how we actually store them. And these YAML files are simply tree-like representations of your projects. So it includes the information about your projects like widgets and their properties, actions and logic, data fetching and animations. And you can download the YAML files themselves and explore them. So the diffs you see when you merge will be the YAML diffs like this. And the good news is Git is really good at handling changes you've made in YAML files. Okay, so let's see how it works. So here's my project and right now I'm on the main branch and I opened up another branch here for this copy to clipboard functionality that I wanna add here to this icon. So let's switch over to that branch and I've added the logic right here so users can copy the address to their clipboard. And I also changed some styling right here. So I'm done with this feature and I wanna merge it back into the main branch. So let's come up here and in here and we see we've got these two new options these get merge options right here. Now, normally you'd merge the feature branch into main, this one, because you're developing the new features and you wanna incorporate them into your main branch. But occasionally you'll merge main into the feature branch, but this serves a different purpose. It's normally done to keep the feature branch up to date with the latest changes from main. This would allow you to resolve potential conflicts early and to ensure the feature branch works with the latest code. But here we're just gonna merge the feature into main. So it's setting up a merge and then we'll get our new merge dialog. Now, in this new dialog, we've got two main sections. So we've got the project configuration over here and we've got the diffs over here. So first let's look at our project configuration. In this first section right here, we've got all of our pages. So if we collapse this right here, we've just got two pages, our home page and the ticket page that we're working on. Then inside here down inside these node parent, we've got each instance of either a merge or a conflict. And the conflicts are gonna be marked in red right here and you've got the option up here to come up here and to just show the changes or the conflicts. So here we just see that one conflict or we can remove that and just see the changes. Okay, but it defaults to showing both and that's what we want. All right, great. Now to cycle through these, you can just click on them to select them and the diffs will change over here. So over here, we'll see the YAML representation of your project. And as you scroll through here, this all makes sense. You can see all of the properties and the widgets and actions in your project, just in the syntax of YAML files. Now what we're seeing right here is our different branches. So here is our main branch, our feature branch, and here's the merged view. Now we haven't resolved any of our conflicts yet, so let's scroll through here to see what happened. So if we scroll down, we can see that this color value was removed, and in each of these branches we have a gradient added, but we can see from the values that they're different values. Now I can picture exactly what these gradient values are in my head, but if you can't, you can just go to any one of these I buttons right here. They all do the same thing, and they'll pull up the UI 
of the project so that you can cycle between the branches and see what the changes actually are. So we're on our main branch right here. And if we switch over to our feature branch, we can see, oh, okay, that's what the gradient difference is. Exactly what I was thinking about. Okay, so I actually like the gradient that was already on the main branch. So I wanna keep that, but obviously we wanna keep the logic that was attached to this icon right here. So I'm gonna accept these changes right here and we can see that we've resolved that. So let's go to our icon right here and we don't have any conflicts right here. We just have the changes we've made and you can see that we've got some actions and the type of action is a copy to clipboard action. But once again, if you wanna see these changes, you can just come in here and if you scroll down to that icon button right there, you can see, oh, it's a copy to clipboard action. Okay, beautiful. I also changed some styling right here to the padding and opacity and that's fine. So I'm good to merge and let's merge that. All right, so we've successfully merged. We're still on our feature branch right here. So let's go take a look at main. All right, we're here on main. We've retained that gradient, but when we come to our icon, we have that revised styling and we've got our action we defined. Beautiful. Now the last thing to do is to close that feature branch because we're done with it. So we're gonna switch back over into that feature branch. So let's come over here and close that branch. And great, we've successfully get merged. Now, sometimes you'll have a more complex merge situation and we've made a way to handle that too. So let me show you. So we're in our main branch right here and you can see we've got this date right down here. Now in my feature branch, I've changed this to a button tag right here. So I've replaced that text for a button. Now let's say back on main, the developer decides that we're gonna change this date format to this, and then we set up the merge. So we want the formatting of this, but in that button style. So we want changes from two different branches. Let me show you how we'd handle that. Now here, we can't accept one or the other because we want the button from the feature branch, but the formatting up Date from the main branch. And we can accomplish that because this merge view is editable. So I know I want this format right here. So we're just gonna accept the removal of this right here. Now we can come back to our button right here and change this input value to the format that we want and save changes. Then let's complete our merge. Awesome. So we've got the button and the formatting that we want. We'd love to hear your feedback on this new feature. So leave us any questions or comments below and we'll see you in the next video.